Hey y'all, how about today I show you how to make vegan, yummy, delicious, crazy fast, crazy good Mediterranean wraps. Let's begin. Y'all, how about today? Plant-based foodie. So to begin with, you're going to take one half of a medium cucumber and you're going to have a messy job, but you're going to grate it on your cheese grater that probably hasn't seen a lot of action since you became plant-based, but you're just going to grate it down. And not grate your fingers, be very careful. Oh, I bet I could have put this in my food processor and shredded it a lot faster. No, nope, it's all. garbage disposal. Then you're just gonna strain it. So put it like in a little mesh sheave strainer thing over a bowl. These cucumbers have a lot of liquid and we don't want all that. We want just the little shredded pieces. Put all that in there. You're gonna take um, just like a pinch of salt because salt um, causes things to lose liquid. Y'all probably knew that though, right? Because y'all are smart audience. Strange things happen in my house sometimes. Just go with it. Anyways, mix the salt up with the cucumbers as it drains. <laughs> He's trying to throw me off my game. It's working. So ideally, while that drains, you're chopping your other vegetables. Um, which I've already done to take time for y'all, so um, that would actually drain longer, but we're just gonna let that hang out. You're gonna take one can of chickpeas that have been rinsed and drained and smash them. Uh, you can use your hands, you can use a fork. Um, you can also use a food processor for this. I use my pastry cutter for it. But kind of like how when we make our tuna, our tuna, um, that's what you're going for. Just mash them all up. You don't wanna leave any just really whole. You don't wanna make them like, Hummus smashed, you know, you don't want to smooth. And you get an arm workout. Tell you, I made this one time without a potato mash, I mean a pastry master or a food processor. In my sister-in-law's house. Yes, Terry, I'm calling you out. It was a lot of work. It was good. It was just a lot of work. So anyways, there you go. Trying to get them all mashed up. Steve will zoom in on that in his editing. But that's what you're going for. And it, a lot of it is personal preference. If you want to leave bigger chunks, totally do it. There's no rules. It's what you like. I'm just glad you're eating healthy. You know, because I know all y'all personally. So anyways, okay. I'm gonna call that done, mostly because my arm's tired. <laughs> Scrape all that off. This is the way we like it. Don't be afraid. My goal is to like give y'all a base of things and you can change the seasonings and the vegetables and things like that to your own personal preferences. I'm just trying to um, get those wheels turning in your head about how wonderful and delicious things can be. So there's that. Now you're gonna take another bowl and you're going to add, um, this is what we like. So the other half of that cucumber that I grated is just diced. So half a cucumber. Think of the like Mediterranean Greek type of flavors, okay? So this is um, a diced, a finely diced green bell pepper. About a 
quarter of one. This is actually closer to a half, I think. I don't think I'm gonna add all of it though. Cause you can add more, but you can't take one. And then this is about a quarter, a half a cup, I mean a half of a purple red onion. Again, I'm probably not gonna add all of it. And then this is one medium tomato dice. You don't have to worry about feeding it because feeding a tomato is very tedious. And this is Kalamata uh, olives that have just been roughly chopped. And that is, I don't know, probably four tablespoons-ish. So it's gonna give us a turn. This is kind of a, a turn, a stir. I'm gonna give them a turn in a bowl. And this is like our vegetables, <laughs> our vegetable kind of salad. Isn't that beautiful already? And then you know me, how I like to season things as I go. I am going to add a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper to this. Just because it makes everything better. Unless you're cutting out salt. Then don't add the salt. I don't really know how you would add um, miso to it, but okay. So there, that's already pretty. I could probably eat that just by itself, to be honest, because that just looks delicious. So now you're going to take your cucumbers, and you can see a lot of water's already come out, and you're just really gonna get in there and get as much out as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Be a fun job for kids if you get kids helping you because it's kind of messy, slimy feeling. So squeeze all that out as much as you can. We're gonna add it to another little bowl. Look at all that liquid that came out. Now I have made tzatziki sauce before from like a cashew cream. Um, it is a little more involved, but it is more um, in line with the no processed foods. But just to make this easy for y'all and to show you a way of doing it, you can buy, this is silk soy yogurt, it's plain, unsweetened, unflavored yogurt. You can buy this. Yes, it is processed. This may even have oils in it. I didn't read the container. I don't know. Normally, we don't do any of that, but I feel like I'm all the time um, making things there's a lot of steps and so I wanted to show you how you can make something really quick and easy and there's not a lot of steps. So this is like seven ounces. So if you have a kitchen scale, use it. If not, um, guesstimate. So you're gonna add that to the cucumbers. And then you're just gonna give it a mix. And you're gonna add to this, it already looks like tzatziki sauce. You can use fresh dill or dry dill. All I had was dry, so I'm using it. So remember, it's one tablespoon of fresh and one teaspoon of dried. And this is two, um, two teaspoons of dried. If you're using fresh, it's two tablespoons because the dried is more potent. This is about, I don't know, a garlic or two, a garlic clove or two, finely minced. And then a tablespoon of lemon juice and another little pinch of salt and pepper. Beautiful, beautiful tzatziki sauce. It looks really good already, y'all. Now, give this a little taste. I think it needs more salt and pepper. And now you're gonna add a little bit of this to your chickpeas to kind of make them saucy. It's gonna be about um, roughly three tablespoons. Cause you don't wanna make it like runny just want a little bit in there to kind of get them to pull together. So almost like when we made the tuna, you know, you don't want to add just a ton of the tahini on tuna. Might need a little bit more. Here we 
tester. There you have it, there's the inside. So now let me grab my tortillas and my panini press and I'll be right back. So now you're gonna take, um, you don't have to do this like in, I have a panini, my dishwasher just started all by itself and you gotta cut all this out. So you don't have to use a George Foreman grill or panini press. You could totally do it in a skillet just to kind of seal it. Um, you're gonna take a tortilla. This is the burrito size tortillas. You're gonna take some, um, this is just romaine lettuce. You could use any kind of lettuce you want. Spinach would be good. Spinach would actually be really good in this. But anyway, so a little bit of lettuce. And you're gonna take, let me grab a spoon. Sorry. You're gonna take some of your chickpea mix. I did add some salt and pepper to it because you know me, I salt and pepper everything. You know, building burritos and wraps is kind of a funny thing. You think it's not a lot and you want to add more and then you can't close it. So be very careful and mindful of that. Now some of our vegetables that have been sitting and getting happy. A little salad. Isn't that already just look delicious and fresh? Such a good summery, springy kind of meal. And now our tzatziki sauce, you can add some more lemon to it if it tastes like it's missing something. Some salt and pepper. And sprinkle, sprinkle, spread. Some of that on top, just like that. And now you're just gonna wrap it like you would a burrito. So in the sides, little corners down and up. In the sides, little corners down and over. Then you're just gonna put it in here just to kind of seal it and close it. You could totally eat it just like that if you want to, or you can seal it up. And that is it, y'all. There is your plant-based, whole food, quick, easy, yummy, fresh Mediterranean wrap. Um, and as soon as that's done, I will show you the end. So see y'all in a few seconds. So after it's as crispy and as brown as you like, that's what you're left with inside. How delicious does that look? Yummy, fresh, amazing, and something quick and easy, and everybody in your family is sure to love it. So be sure to like and subscribe and share and try the recipes, and be blessed, y'all. Thanks.